Well, Nolan County also appears to be ground zero for the worst driving conditions here in the Big Country. Reports of crashes on icy roads, they started coming in last night and leaving people stranded and even stuck in their vehicles. Some all night over there with no place to go. KTAB's Miriam Chamberlain explains how the community of Sweetwater is coming together to help the strangers passing through. Vehicles on Interstate 20, U.S. Highway 84, and Texas 70 are left stranded as icy roads and freezing temperatures continue in this winter storm. Many passengers stuck in their cars with engines being left on, but now low on gas in order to stay warm overnight. Wednesday, Nolan County Sheriff David Warren highly discouraged any travel on roads. Now, due to extremely hazardous conditions and increasing number of accidents, city officials says they They've become overwhelmed, working nonstop, directing the stalled traffic. With hotels being completely booked, Sweetwater PD is working with local churches and organizations to get shelter for drivers looking for a place to stay warm, even providing transportation for those stranded. This isn't a city that you would normally stop in, but right now, and if you need shelter and you need food and you need to be loved on because it's scary, we're here. Sweetwater's Christian Community Outreach Center, House of Peace, says they prepare to shelter roughly 50 people. If they come through here, they can stop here and they'll be safe. And even working with other local churches in case more space is needed. It's just a community effort, you know, that we're able to take care of, not just the homeless people in our community or the people who don't have adequate shelter here, but even people just traveling on I-20. The Texas Department of Public Safety says currently the roads remain snow packed on I-20 from Roscoe at mile marker 235 to Trent at mile marker 263. Crews are trying to get those clear. Traffic is heavy out there and is moving at 8 to 10 miles an hour. And with vehicles blocking the roads, Tanya Brown with TxDOT says it's difficult to get equipment through and plow. We'll work throughout the night to clear those roads and we should see some relief midday tomorrow. Ensuring that their laborious work will soon pay off. In Sweetwater with coverage you can count on, Miriam Chamberlain, KTAB News. You know, one of those things we don't hear very often that Beck mentioned there yes. is people being scared. True. If you're trapped on I-20 and they're a hundred trucks in front of you and a hundred trucks behind you and you can't go anywhere. That is a scary situation. When you're going to get off, where to go, and right. how, to, how to navigate that. Very scary situation. Yeah. Well, by the way, it's still a mess tonight. TxDOT, DPS and local agencies are discouraging travel on westbound I-20 between Abilene and Sweetwater.